suck my dick. Oh, see, no, you can't tell Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my Suck my dick. Yo, it's better it's a water bottle instead of my fist. You're not supposed to throw no fist. You're not supposed to throw no fist. Drew, don't do that. You don't throw no fist. Drew, don't do that. Absolutely not. And you will regret throwing it if you did. Drew, don't do that. You will regret throwing it if you did. I promise you that. So you just said you will regret it if you do it. You absolutely will. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Fam. 100%. Fam, we in our mid-30s, fam. you a big mad, son. I know, I know. I'm throwing bottles of water and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Bro, it's okay, dog. You got I'm little, cool. You got some love and hip-hop in you. It's okay. Andrew Schultz's most disrespectful episode. Now, let me take you back to 2019 when Andrew Schultz was not the king of new media that he would later become. He was largely known as Charlemagne's lackey and someone who could not stand on his own. Yes, something was there, but before he could realize his vast potential, he would launch the Flagrant 2 podcast with a stimulus from Charlemagne, who would allow him to usurp the Brilliant Idiots podcast feed Probably because Charlemagne really didn't know the potential of podcasting until Joe Budden showed him. Schultz was forging a new identity that would lead to the creation of his own podcast that we can now say is bigger than Brilliant Idiots ever was. On the aptly titled Flagrant 2 episode SMD, we can see Andrew at his most disrespectful and dismissive. While it looks like Andrew is mad at the situation at hand, I truly believe that in this moment, he is fed up with the rest of his cast on Flagrant 2. After all, Kaz would leave the show under a veil of controversy, but that's a video for another day. This episode starts off with the flagrant two co-hosts calling Andrew out for disrespecting Akash's future wife, when he would verbally hint that her presence was holding up a taping of flagrant two. Akash obviously agrees that Andrew was disrespectful, but he would need some nudging from Alex and Kaz to feel comfortable airing out his grievances. There are many who believe Akash is Andrew's yes man, willing to laugh with ease at Andrew's jokes that aren't even funny sometimes. And in this episode, he does nothing to dispel that notion. To combat the general sentiments of his hosts, Andrew accuses Kaz and Alex of spicing things up and making the situation seem worse than it actually was. After the playful banter, the tone shifts into serious mode when Andrew makes fun of an altercation where Alex Media was arrested in Sweden after an incident with a Swedish bouncer. We're not there more than a minute before um, I just get tapped from behind and I turn around, it's a bouncer, he's like, you have to leave. And I was just like, why? He's like, oh, we're closing soon. I look around, this place is packed. Yeah. This place is packed, people still ordering drinks. Andrew pokes fun at how Alex has no hands. Andrew then keeps going in on Alex when he mentions how Alex was scared of airing the episode of Flagrant 2 without making edits. And Alex fires back and reflects on the time when Andrew wanted to edit the show because he had said something negative about Nicki Minaj. Andrew then goes nuclear and yells, suck my d to Alex and Alex forcefully throws a bottle of water at Andrew. Andrew then keeps saying suck my d and Alex throws another water bottle. This is exactly where the tension begins to boil over and the gloves come off. The behind the scenes drama at Flagrant 2 starts to come out and Andrew calls Alex ungrateful saying Alex requested a lot of time off. And We've been working together for a month. Guess how many weeks he's taken off in, this, in that month? Oh, how, well, how many? Three. Mm, what? Three out of three, four? Three out three. And they get into an exchange about Alex Media's work ethic. I think, Alex, you're just uncomfortable with me telling you what to do. But you got to get more comfortable with it because that's I'm, part of the program. Oh, Akash then reverts back to how Andrew hasn't been the most respectful around his girlfriend, with Kaz and Alex backing up Akash yet again. Alex then begins getting under Andrew's skin so bad that Andrew accuses Alex of making bad content while working for Flagrant 2. After that, Andrew says that Alex is taking advantage of him by not working hard when he is paying him. Alex rightfully accuses Andrew of deflecting from the issue at hand, which is Akash's wife getting disrespected by Andrew. Andrew then apologizes and Andrew calls Alex a lady for throwing a bottle. And Alex points out that Andrew told him to suck his d and that it's better for him to throw a water bottle than a fist. Andrew then starts antagonizing Alex by saying Alex would never swing on him and that he would regret it if he ever did. Andrew looks really upset here and even accuses Alex of having a little love and hip hop in him. 
I think he's trying to hint that Alex is, I guess, expressing feminine tendencies. A little later, Akash switches sides and begins to display heavy yes-man tendencies. After that, Andrew gaslights his co-host and makes it seem like they are wrong for taking issues with his actions. I highlighted this episode of Flagrant 2 because with the use of hindsight, we see some of the changes Schultz was going to make. He's pretty clearly in this episode expressing how unsatisfied he is with the rest of the cast. Time would reveal that Andrew wasn't only upset about Alex's commitment, but also Kaz's efforts on the show, who himself had many different obligations at the time that would not allow him to make Flagrant Flagrant 2 his sole focus. Eventually, Flagrant 2 would rebrand, and Akash would be marginalized, both in terms of speaking time and branding. Akash nowadays is arguably not even a B-mic on Flagrant, with Mark Gagnon and Alex Media appearing to be on equal footing in terms of visibility. Some other interesting facts of this episode is that a super young Eden is helping to produce the show, and many members of the show are on their phones to start the podcast signifying a different era of podcasting. It was an era that prioritized audio and not the visual components that would later dominate the medium. The case could be made that podcasts are the new TV shows, but at this moment in time, that was not the standard. And lastly, this episode is shortly before the pandemic changes everything. And one of those people it would change everything for is Andrew. As America was shut down, Andrew's comedy specials would skyrocket in popularity. And with the vacuum left by Rogan's exodus from YouTube upon his mega deal with Spotify, YouTube's algorithm would spotlight comedians that were too edgy for network television but fit right in on YouTube. Charlemagne's lackey was a lackey no more, and his success would match up with his hard work. But let me know what you think, listeners. I strongly urge you to go back and watch this episode of Flagrant 2. It's titled SMD, and it was the short months before Andrew's life would be changed and he would become one of the prominent figures in podcasting. With that said, please follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV, Twitter, The Stop TV. I plan on doing a future deep dive of Brilliant Idiots because of the political implications of Charlemagne interviewing Kamala Harris and Andrew Schultz interviewing Donald Trump. So stay tuned for that. And I also have a video about Mandy and Wheezy coming real soon. All right, y'all. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace. This fine video was brought to you by Danny from The Stop on behalf of Stop Productions. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, comment, or subscribe. Additionally, the thank you button has been enabled. If you want to say thanks, just say thanks on the thank you button. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Danny from the Stop. <laughs>